So if you're thinking about relocating to Tennessee, I wanted to go over some pros and cons, or good and bad, about Tennessee. So please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned because I put the real in real estate. So I have made a list of different pros and cons of moving to Tennessee should you uh, want to move here. I have moved so many people from especially up north and the west coast here over the years. Uh, many people have wanted to call Tennessee their home for numerous reasons. There are some positives and negatives about Tennessee, but that's pretty much any state that you go to, right? Um, first off, we do not have, Tennessee does not have an income tax. So that's a, a big one. A lot of states do. So if you're moving from one of those states, that might be your pro of moving here, uh, among many other things. Um, probably the, the negative part of that is we do have a sales tax. That's usually anywhere from 9.25% up to 9.75. I think that's your your the most that um can be charged is 9.75 because you have county and state sales tax the thing about if you lived in um an area in tennessee that borders a state that either has a lower in, uh, sales tax on food or uh, shopping or whatever it may be then like we live so close to kentucky if we want we used to do it more than now, but we usually just go to Gallatin and Hendersonville to do all of our shopping and dining and and all of that and still, you know, uh, support Tennessee. So when we do get a chance to go to Kentucky, should we need to go to Lowe's for anything and just go right up in Franklin, Kentucky, we would shop and have 6% sales tax versus, what, almost 10% here. So, um Usually it's 9.25. Some areas it's 9.75. Um, in Gall uh, Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, they have other little taxes that, you know, um, um, that they put on there for it being more of a vacation destination. I forget what the name of it is, but I, I've seen it. Um, <clears throat> so we, if we go to Kentucky, Kentucky has no sales tax on groceries, food. Um, that you buy at the grocery store. So we used to go there. If I do go there, um, I would go and, um, you know, get the groceries and not pay any sales tax. So you might save um, $20, $30, $40, $50, depending on if you're buying up for the month or you're buying for the week or whatever it may be. So you can save some money by doing that now is it as convenient no so usually while i'm out now plus we have like i had done in a previous video we have um costco that came to sumner county last year and now we have bj's that came just a few more exits up uh, and we have sam's club that we've had forever so usually at those warehouses i can uh, shop and save and buy more in bulk. Now, you just because it's in bulk doesn't mean you're saving any money. So you have to do the math and you have to know how to do that to figure out if you're saving any money versus going to Publix or Kroger or whatever. Um, other than that, I do go to Publix for just a few things. Uh, since BJ's has came to town, I can save quite a bit there on groceries um, and don't have to buy as much at Publix either. So on to the pros and cons of moving to Tennessee. Um, what I hear from a lot of my clients is that we have four seasons. Yes, we may experience all four when we're changing, you know, from cold or from hot to cold or cold to hot. We might experience all four in one day. So you might have to carry um, you know, your layers and layers so you can take them off or put them on. So it just depends. But for the most part, we do have four seasons, but we do have, <clears throat> we can have and experience a lot of humidity <clears throat> and higher temps depending on what area of Tennessee you're in. Yes, we can get snow. We do get ice um, and we do get really cold at times. 
Um, year before last, we got so cold that um, we were actually, we love to take our, our travel trailer and uh, go camping in the Smokies, but we're yuppie campers, so we like to glamp or whatever. Um, and uh, year before last, we were in for Christmas and New Year's, um, we were at Camp Margaritaville uh, in Pigeon Forge. And as soon as we arrived, a big snowstorm came in and it was so cold down to negative temperatures up there that it froze everything for four days we were everything was frozen now we don't get that every year um this last year i think we got a, a good cold snap but um we decided to stay home for christmas and new year since we had just gotten our second labradoodle uh sheldon so he's gonna go experience some camping too um this year <clears throat> but year before that when we were at um uh another campground for christmas and new years it did come a snow but it actually that year christmas we were in short sleeve shirts and stuff i think it came after that we got a snow um that lasted a good day or two uh, and that's when we were in the Smoky Mountains. Of course, we love to go to the Smoky Mountains. We enjoy the beauty that our state offers of the mountains and creeks and lakes and rivers and uh, just the flowing creeks and, and all of that. So um, even going camping, you can be creekside or whatever um, <clears throat> and experience just the natural beauty of Tennessee. So that's what we love about Tennessee. We were born and raised here, all of us. Um, so we love it here. So our destination is Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, Sevierville, all of that area. Okay, so another, I guess, negative since a lot of people have moved here you are going to experience more traffic especially in your metro city like um, nashville when you try to go through nashville there used to be certain times you could go through nashville and have less traffic um, it's hardly that case anymore so if you've got to go to nashville you might have to try to find that sweet spot of when you like to go through nashville or whatever uh, because you will have traffic now there's sometimes in the outskirts even in hendersonville now um during rush hour different times you know trying to go down 386 at certain times you experience more traffic um but in hendersonville as a whole um <clears throat> a lot of people love to live in Hendersonville that have moved here. I've moved a lot of people to Hendersonville. So, um, I get it. Hendersonville, um, it, there's a lot of shopping in Hendersonville. So you get that too. So you have people that don't even live in Hendersonville going to Hendersonville because we have Costco. Now we have everything you can, every place that you want to eat at is there. Sam's club is there. Go down the road to BJ's now in Gulletsville. Um, so lots of shopping and stuff. Now Gallatin is going to be getting, um, even more traffic because we are exploding in housing and, uh, new construction and stuff like that. Um, so I've talked about traffic. Um, now if you go to Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge, there's going to be a lot of traffic. We're used to that. Uh, so there's different times that you can go that it's not as bad because uh, they have like a lot of different things that go on there like your your car shows and all these different things uh, the jeep invasion the rod run all of that you don't want to be there unless you're part of that venue uh, because it, you will never get anywhere during that time now christmas and new year's yes christmas time is a busy time but we love it and we love the lights and we love to be there we'll probably go back this year uh last year like i said that was going to be our third annual but we didn't do that we stayed at home and put up our tree this year and just enjoyed it being at home um and um uh our other labradoodle stewie he had went through health issues last year now he's good we think everything's good hopefully and then um our young pup sheldon we wanted everybody we just all wanted to just be home this year and enjoy that we are ready to go on another um uh, uh outing so we cannot wait to go camping again 
Um, since we have grown quickly, that has driven up prices of home prices. So since we have uh, been getting over the uh, past few years, people moving here, home prices have went up anywhere from 20, 30 percent, depending on where you're where you're wanting to be. There are some cities. It depends on the cities, um, um, you know, outside of Nashville that aren't as pricey on houses now our prices of houses still don't compare to some of the ones out um in your northern or your um west coast either so um property taxes are lower this is a pro i guess property taxes are lower than other parts of the country so um that's what i hear from everybody moving here they pay three to three times or more um uh, in property taxes per year than you do here. Um, so um, that's that's a good pro of moving here. The cost of living is so much better and more, more affordable to live in Tennessee. Now, I think everybody's experiencing, you know, the economy the way it is. So no matter what, but it's still on a whole um, cheaper to live in Tennessee. Um, now we do have lots here's another pro we have lots of outdoor activities including uh, mountain biking trails for hiking um, all of that you get that in if you go to east tennessee and and go to the smoky mountains too you get all that as well um there's lakes um in hendersonville i do my eight cities north of nashville quite often where i give you the market watch in those areas and in hendersonville and gallatin you have the lake so there's lots of, in Mount Juliet and uh, places over there too. And then all the way around Nashville and stuff. And golly, out in um, Lobeville and Linden, I have sold quite a few homes out there. Uh, and there are, um, you know, uh, I think it's the Tennessee and the, is it the Buffalo River? I forget. It has been a, well, I did sell one last year out there. So we will travel to West Tennessee, but people like to canoe and they like to do outdoor stuff because you have the two Tennessee, you have the two rivers there uh, in Perry County. So um, people like it there and it's quiet, It's but it's growing. There's a lot of people that um, since I started selling there about five or six years ago, I guess, maybe it's, it's grown quite a bit and people have learned that that's the quiet little town that, that has a lot of outdoor stuff. And it, and it was, um, you could get a, a home at a really good, a lot of home for what you pay there in Perry County too. So a lot of people are buying there now to have it as, more of a getaway home or to um, rent it out to. So um, then we have, um, let's see, I talked about cost of living. Um, if you do love the beach, then <clears throat> if you live in Middle Tennessee or anywhere, you still, you might have a six hour, seven hour drive, go down to Alabama. Um, you could go down to Florida, wherever. Um, you know, and go experience the beach if you want to take a day trip. Um, well, you'd probably want to stay overnight because that's a long drive too. So take you a trip there. <coughs> There's a lot of places in Tennessee that you could do a day trip though. Uh, you can go to Chattanooga. We can be there in like two and a half hours, be in Chattanooga, uh, do things there, go back home. Um, we go over to, like I said, the Smoky Mountains. It's about three and a half to four hours, depending on traffic and depending on, you know, how many stops we make or whatever. With two two fur babies now, um, we may um, stop and do things. and um, But usually three and a half to four hours and we're there. So you could do, make that a day trip. We wouldn't. We'd stay there. So And every trip we take, no matter if it's seven or ten days, we always extend it out. So we love it there so much. Um, I don't know if we'd want to live there. We talk about that a lot. Maybe eventually having something to go live um there or retire to but we'll never retire we we still will be doing real estate until the day we die so um but that is our retirement anyway but you can have you can enjoy it there and then still come home and um you know but have that as your your favorite destination like we do um we do plan on getting strs there short-term rentals and 
you know, buying quite a few over the years and having those for, you know, extra retirement income. So you can do that as well. So there's many areas around Tennessee that you can do that with. So let me know if you are interested in that because I love to help people, uh, you know, find their investment properties too. Um, I guess a, a, we do have four seasons, of course. So that's a positive for some, but that can be also a negative for some, because if you come from a state that doesn't have tornadoes, you might be so fearful of tornado weather um, and the season of um, tornadoes, because we do have maybe anywhere in middle Tennessee, maybe six, eight, ten a year or so, depending on where you're at. And then, you know, you've uh, throughout the state, probably about 20 to 30 in a year. So, but it doesn't mean that you're going to be anywhere near a tornado. So we've, we were born and raised here, me and my hubby and son. Uh, and, um, we have, um, we were in a tornado, um, in a tornado um once so now we have been around tornadoes or near them uh you know or whatever so and you know i'll be 52 this year my hubby's 55 our son's 29 so one in all those years so you should be good you know doesn't say that you'll you won't incur a tornado but that's why you have a storm shelter or try to get a storm shelter or make sure you know where your safe place is we love that we have a basement in our previous home that we lost to a fire that one actually went through a tornado we were out in that tornado came home and our house had um had some uh uh different things that happened with it through the tornado that went through it um and um then um we were in the tornado and still survived so we were out in it and uh um little cuts and stuff like that and blood but you know we lived um but also just make sure that you wherever you buy you have that safe place and you know and you've and you've taught it to your family and stuff just in case um, that you have to go there. We have a storm shelter in our basement plus our basement too. Uh, so we just go there if we need to um, at our previous home. Our previous home was hit by lightning when our son was three, I think, directly hit by lightning. It went through the tornado um, and then uh, a fire took it out. So, um, you know, at this home, we have a lot of rain in Portland, uh, but um, at different times we have seen um, and heard of tornadoes near in Gallatin or Hendersonville and Portland, different places in Portland. So you just find that safe space or uh, it's more common now to have a storm shelter installed in a home. Um, sometimes they'll go into the garage and they'll cut out the concrete and dig out and put your, your storm shelter there. You can also park over it and stuff too. Um, <clears throat> so it's a little um, easier to get a storm shelter put in the ground in there. Or they have the ones that they put in the garage that you just go into and they're not in the ground. So as long as you have enough garage space where you can put that in, they install those. There's some things outside that they can do, just different different things. Um, ours is um, actually our um, side porch underneath there in the basement has been made into the storm shelter. So we love having a storm shelter. We love having a basement. So if you can get a basement in Tennessee, that's a... That's a um, uh, plus there um <clears throat> so we are known for country music we have different festivals there's bonnaroo and all of that uh and many uh music venues and stuff during the year uh we have the country music hall of fame and different things downtown if you want to visit nashville that you can go to um and um the biggest thing about being in tennessee is most people love it because we are nice and I don't know how many times I get told during the week, some some part of the week, that people love to hear me talk. And it's like, really? 
I don't, but you know, <laughs> that's me. Everybody thinks that way about themselves. You know, it's like, what you, you, what? I didn't know I had a, I didn't know I had an accent, but yes, I do. I'm Southern. Uh, I make fun all the time. And, um, you know, with all the, um, people moving here and many different, um, uh, ways people, uh, talk and stuff. They, they listen to me and they're like, I could just listen to you all day. I don't get it because it's me. Um, and, but we do have that Southern charm here in Tennessee, still here. Uh, so usually people are nice and, um, and if you do like to hear us talk, uh, you're going to get that a lot here in Tennessee. Some of us are more Southern than others. I say I don't know any other language besides Southern. I mean, I don't. <laughs> so, um, and that's how I talk. So, um, I have a lot of clients that laugh at me. Uh, because when I get going, sometimes I can you hear that Southern accent come out more at times. Uh, too. So um, that's a little bit, I think, about the good and bad about moving to Tennessee. So if you can live near kind of the Kentucky border, I will be um, getting my Kentucky license here soon too, because I have so many clients that like to uh, live either in Portland or Westmoreland. And some are like, hey, I might buy some stuff in in Kentucky or then I have investors that like to buy too as well so I think I'm going to get my Kentucky license here soon so I will keep y'all posted on that along with my broker's license here in Tennessee that I've been working on for years um and uh and I had sent everything in I've done I've already passed the national I just got to take the state portion for my broker's license too so uh they haven't uh I guess um they say it's pretty easy to to um, send in and do, but I guess not for me. They lost my stuff when I sent it in, so now I got to redo it. Uh, <laughs> but um, so stay tuned for all that. <clears throat> Hopefully this year I'll have brokers and um, Kentucky. So I will keep y'all posted. Um, but if you have any questions on moving to Tennessee, born and raised here, me and my family, and uh, we love it here. We even vacation here. We really don't go anywhere else. I mean, we've been to Florida uh, and all the states going down there, but, um, you know, there's there's just a lot to do in Tennessee, so much to do in the Smoky Mountains that we love it there and just the feel and the vibe there. So, um, you know, for vacation, there's too much traffic for us to want to be there all the time, so we'd have to live in a space a place where there's not as much traffic, I think, if we lived there um, all the time. Um, that's where we, that's why we love, we chose Sumner County. Uh, we've lived here all of our life, basically. Um, and, um, and, or, you know, been here and raised here. So we're used to it in Sumner County and um, we love it. And, where we are, we may add five or 10 minutes to a drive on our drive living in Portland, but we're on the Gallatin side of Portland. So we can be in Gallatin in no time and be in Hendersonville within 20 to 25 minutes, depending on where we're going. Um, and then, you know, be in Kentucky in like about 15, 20 minutes. So, um, if you're on the other side of Portland, um, there's different sides of Portland. You can be in Kentucky in maybe five minutes or less, you know. Um, so just depends on where you want to be. For us, we like to be on the Gallatin side for living because we go to Gallatin and Hendersonville quite often too. So um, if you have any questions about Tennessee, comment below. Share your um uh, thoughts on Tennessee if you live here or want to move here I would be I would love to help you because I help my relocation clients all the time and find their perfect home and place that they want to be here so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all next time bye y'all